Hello, welcome to this first lesson in trigonometry and uh, I feel um, I'm very confident because I'm going to use this textbook uh, by Jelfand and um, Mark Sol. Please make sure you have the book. I'm going to refer to chapter 0, page numbers 1 to 20 and I strongly recommend every example and exercise in this particular chapter. Many of them are very simple, you just race through it but it's real fun to go through them quickly. Um, is there is no need for me to teach you anything um, but maybe I'll just point out a few interesting things in this chapter uh, there are definitely a uh, Jelfand uh, has some intriguing problems and answers uh, he also talks about the Pythagoras theorem and its converse which uh, the proof you may not you may just already know the proof or you look up the proof somewhere but he has given his own proofs uh, but there's a wonderful exercise where he asks you whether you're using the Pythagoras theorem or its converse and it's nice for us to be clear about the distinction mm -hmm. and the power of both the Pythagoras theorem and the converse. And here's the question that really caught my attention. Uh, there is a triangle with sides 4, 5 and 6. Is the triangle an acute angle triangle, a right triangle or an obtuse? It's interesting, isn't it? That we can straight away give an answer to this question um, just given the sites. So um, I just uh, leave you to find the answer from this chapter. Now I just um, go ahead and point out some other interesting things uh, that are there in this particular chapter. Um, right, so here's some Jelfand magic if you allow me to use these words. Um, so he talks about how you have a triangle and the angles are 30 and uh, 60 and 90 and um, we know the values of cos sine for all these angles but uh, here's a wonderful diagram in which there is an equilateral triangle of side 1 now that automatically makes this side half and therefore once you use the Pythagoras theorem you realize that the third side is root 3 by 2 and there you go um, you have the sine and cos and tan of all the um, angles 30, 60 in just this diagram and which is a classic use of symmetry and the equilateral triangle that gives us all the answers in no time. The chapter also talks about uh, some standard notation and I think this is important. It is uh, typical to call angles by big letters A, B and C and 